Hey there! It is Friday, uh, January 11th? Yeah, 11th. Although it's probably the 12th by the time we get this up because there's a lot going on and uh, this afternoon I'm racing out. I have a, have a lot to do. Uh, that's kind of a hint. Last couple of days, I haven't played much for like about, I got really lazy after going to Phoenix. Came back, the holidays kicked in, barely picked up the guitar. And I thought, okay, it's New Year's. Well, actually, I just thought about this a couple days ago with Muriel Anderson here. I thought, oh, man, it's time. i got to get back on work. But then I also had to back to work playing, practicing. I had a bunch of songs that I had been playing, and I think they all got really rusty. two of them. That was another one. There was this. Um. Now, why are these all getting, like, looked at again, aside from just general neglect? Lack of... Anyway. Um doing this radio spot that by the time you see this will have already happened. So I hope some of you that if you're interested, you got the, got the word that uh, Friday afternoon on KKUP, Dave Stafford's Friday Folk Off. I have a little spot where I thought, oh, I'm going to have to be like in good shape. I got I to gotta be able to play some songs and not like trip all over them. So I dug up this too. these things I have to go back and, and check my acoustic snapshot go check my the snapshots that I put up of them to see how they went the, the one in particular wait I should save this story I should tell you what went on this week no I'll finish the story then I'll go into the then I'll get into the rest of the news the one in particular that I let sit too long was this That part right there. Ugh. That was it. Okay, got it. The rest of the song is pretty comes back pretty well. I know I should do a lesson on this one too, huh? I should stop or I'm gonna play the whole thing. I love that tune. Okay, okay. Anyway, they're coming back. And a lot of it was, I just want to have a lot of songs ready to play in this 45-minute thing at KKUP. 
Um, what else did I, oh, I, I looked at this again too. Another one I have to get to a lesson to, Pharaoh's Rag. Here's my list. There's like 16 songs on it now. Um, and I also thought I should probably do some things from uh, that are on albums. Instead of just all this stuff, I gotta make a few more albums. I have so many songs I've done since El Dorado back in 2004 or something like that. Um, there's this one. Jetstream. That's one of my favorites that I never play anymore. This is a good old standard. For, I don't know, for me to resurrect and, and have ready to play on the radio this afternoon. What else is on there? I decided if I had to do a Beatles tune, I'd probably do this. That's the beginning and the ending. And if I, ha if I decided I had to do something from yesterday's news, there aren't too many of those I remember, but I can still get through this. Okay, anyway, that's what's going on with me. I've been kind of cramming to be ready to play. And it's a short set, 45 minutes, but and a lot of it's going to be spent talking about things like Totally Guitars and the International Guitar Camp. Because I, the guy that runs his show, Dave Stafford, I should give you a little bit of background on him because he, I have met him when I was probably about 17. We go way back. He had the coolest stereo of anybody I knew. So my friend Eric and I spent as much time as we could at Dave's house in downtown Los Gatos. Uh, listening to state-of-the-art stereo equipment. Uh, one, I, I don't remember too many specific albums we listened to, but one of them was Keith Jarrett's uh, piano concerts from uh, Bremen and Lausanne, I think. Um, it, was, it was a triple record, black. I still, I still have it, of course. Anyway, uh, and many years later, or a few years later, he, he got a weekly gig with a radio station every Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock on KKUP, and I think it's based in Cupertino. So... Anyway, okay, enough of that kind of rambling. I should get to what a uh, little bit of, we had a few new tunes come out this week. Max brought us a, a Nirvana, Nirvana song, Lithium. And uh, Vanessa brought us Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. I was just about, this is so dumb, I shouldn't even think about this. I think I made some comments last week as to some of the stuff I was working on. And exotic tunings can be kind of a pain, but uh, I managed to, it's finished, but it, it won't see the light of day till tomorrow. Old school tuner. I can't talk and tune at the same time. Excuse me, but then I'll give you a demo. Oh, except you've probably already seen this. It went up, should have got, it's, it's up today. Acoustic snapshot. But let me see if I can play it right now. Because I had a lot of fun putting together, well, it's not finished yet, a lesson on this, but it's coming along. Thank you. 
right. Should talk though. most requested songs we've had for years on our request a lessons page here at totally guitars brown roar by jimmy page from physical graffiti although as i mentioned in the lesson oh i haven't finished the lesson yet but it's it's recorded it's just not up so i really have finished it sneak, sneak preview we don't usually do this giveaway stuff but i hinted that i was going to have this done by this week last week and i didn't get it all the way finished um, partly because of this radio thing. I took a sideline. I had to practice, you know? And uh, so let's get out of that tuning. That's better. Uh, three C's in that tuning. That's what it is. The B string goes up to C, the D string goes down to C, and the E string goes down to C. Um, had a great time, though, tracking down a live version on a bootleg called uh, From Blueberry Hill from 1970. I've been playing it that had that extra part in it where, like, the harmonics happen and stuff like that. So, um, And thankfully, one of my biggest obstacles in getting a lesson done on this song was how to pronounce it. When, we, when I found that bootleg, and it's up there at YouTube, we'll, that, that'll all be included in the lesson. We'll get you a link. I'm sure you can find it. Search for... Braun Roar, spell it out though, B-R-O-N hyphen Y-R hyphen A-U-R. Robert Plant pronounces it something like that, like what I said. It's not very clear, but, um, and uh, it, we hear, he introduces Jimmy Page playing it, and Jimmy Page plays this, this part in there that's not in there. But um, as far as my lesson went on it, 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 well, never mind. I'll save that for next week. All the little very, all the little weird fingerings I had to come up with to make it sound better than than it does in most of the places I found. Anyway, uh, okay, enough about Led Zeppelin. What else do we have this week? A uh, five-pack of Neil Diamond songs. So we finished to finish that up, and we're pretty much throwing out at least, well, at least one new pack a week. Um, ah, I'll tell you later which one's coming up. And the last parts of the Phoenix uh, Guitar League got, got finally saw the light of day. I am so behind... I mean, I still have an interview with Richard Hoover that is like st sitting in my, I'm so far behind in editing video. This is terrible. Um, but uh, Richard Hoover and Mike Mullins. I have Mike Mullins sitting right here. Oh, what do you think? Back to the old school screen background. I guess I'd take, I'd, I'd take a poll. What do you think? Should we, should we go back to this? Uh, this look or should I stay stay back in the with the totally guitars banner in the background I'm open to suggestions should we just go back outside to the picnic table and do lessons there again um, anyway uh, so that's that, that I decided it was time to try some of this again we'll see and uh, what else was going on? Muriel Anderson, uh, she's, she was here. We only, I only got up a little bit. Uh, the rest of that should be coming out next week because she and I, uh, the, as our, all, we talk, all, all we put up this week was the first three minutes where we're talking about uh, what she was doing, what her schedule, which includes a guitar workshop tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but uh, then some really unexpected things happen. Not a lot of playing going on in there, but... Um, a little bit more teaching. 
couple ways. So um, I think you guys are going to enjoy what I what I have in the can still for from from Muriel. Uh, let's see. I had oh I had one more thing I wanted to bring up, and then and then I'll play through. What am I? What have I not played yet that is on the list? I did Who Done It, Jetstream, White Bird, Then I'm 64, Chattanooga, and if I'm really brave on the radio, I may try this. Whoa. Probably not. It's just too darn long. Maybe I should just play one part of it. Oh, yeah. This is two parts, actually. What is it? Oh. Anyway, this is really coming together. Uh, I... That should be part of my New Year's resolution. I'm going to get that darn thing recorded. Get a good playthrough of Bathena. That's the last two parts of Bathena, of the five-parter that includes all these ridiculous things. Whoa. Here's the most ridiculous part. Never mind. Okay. Let's see. Oh, the last thing I wanted to say was, I was going to say I should play some play something out of here, but I've, I've played too much already today. Got to rest. Um, and that is the guitar humor column, Mark. That is so cool. I'm really glad you're you know that you keep up on that. Um, I always do appreciate them. The 52 Telly was a great one. Anyway, a lot of other a lot of that, that was a, that was like a week or two ago, but. Um, anyway, so keep it up. Don't let anybody tell you that it should be hijacking forums. Anyway, so I, I really appreciate everything you add to the forum. Would like to see a lot more stuff in the forum. It would give me a lot more stuff to talk about every Friday. Wait, I have enough to talk about. It's too long. Never mind. Okay, let me see if there's any other songs I should... Nope, I think... Oh, so the other things I put on the list that were all slight, slight different tuning ones, I guess since I've, since I've opened this door for tunings... I might also do this. on that let's imagine that now that i'm in this tuning i might as well play everything else i was thinking about doing in drop d in case i get that far in the 45 minute radio spot this one's in the running always and uh, there's another drop d one. Oh yeah I think I've played everything on my list. A piece of everything. Yes. Except for one. Now I'll give you one more. New strings. And trying to get, get trying to keep stay in tune in exotic tunings. Really bad.
Oh, you know, there's a hint. I just had a lesson. One of my students and I were just talking about this yesterday. If you, an easy way to get into... Um, what am I thinking? Drop D. I need a B here. Wait, Merritt, where's my B? Little sharp, huh? Is harmonics. Standard tuning, when the strings are tuned a fourth apart, the fifth fret of the lower string needs to match the seventh fret of its neighbor, right? So here we go. Fifth fret of the A string matches the seventh fret of the D string because they're tuned a fourth apart. Well, when I lower the, D str the E string to D, I now have a fifth here between D and A. That's where I can use the twelfth fret of the higher string, the A, which I know was already right, to, to match the seventh fret of the lower string. Now that was a little flat because I thought it was sharp a second ago. Okay, so of course in this tuning we have... I, Resurrect this song once every few years. This is not in tune. Live with it. I think I have a lesson on this, don't I? F sharp was not quite F sharp. Uh, that is enough. We're running out of time here. I try to keep these things under 20 minutes. It looks like I, I failed miserably. But went through a lot of different tunings, and I hope you... And the guitar sounds so good with new strings on it. New Santa Cruz strings today, and I wanted to have it tuned up for my trip to KKUP. Uh, okay, that's it for the second wrap-up of 2019.